welcome to this short video clip on making low frequency measurements with the Keysight 53200 series of universal electronic counters. Today I want to pass along a few hints when configuring the counters for these types of measurements. So let's get started. Here I have the waveform generator uh, 33500 series. Output 1 is connected to channel 1 of the counter and also up here to channel 1 of the oscilloscope. Also I have the uh, waveform generator you can zoom in here and set up to output a pulse at basically a 1 hertz rate at 5 volt peak to peak with 2.5 volt offset so basically it's going to go from 0 to 5 volts and it has a 50 percent duty cycle or half second on half second off and as you can tell from the uh, up here on the oscilloscope you can see the uh, pulse pattern there on my old oscilloscope. So if you notice that the counter though right now is showing dashes and this is not an indication anything wrong it's just that it hasn't been able to make a measurement yet. So, so the first thing you want to do is you want to check the uh, coupling on the input. By doing that we press channel 1 uh, of the uh, channel button so press 1 here and then if you notice the soft keys here there's the coupling uh, soft key if we press that that'll toggle between AC and DC so we want to make sure it's DC um, the counter is specified for DC coupling down to uh, a millihertz and for AC coupling it's only down to 10 hertz for, so for our uh, low frequency signal here of 1 Hertz we would want to be on DC coupling. Okay the second thing that we want to note on the same uh, set of soft keys on the input section is on the level setup we want to make sure that for low frequency signals we actually turn off auto leveling. It's only good down to 50 Hertz so for signals below that it may or may not detect uh, what auto leveling does is it's kind of like auto range on a meter. It determines, it like pre-samples the input to determine the min and the max and then sets the trigger level to the 50 percent point. So as you can imagine, a uh, slow, a signal that is slow and changing may miss where to set that trigger level. level. So if we press the auto level uh, key, it toggles between on and off, okay? And then we can go in and set a level since we have a 0 to 5 volt signal we can actually go ahead and increase this to say 2.5 volts so we'll be right at the midpoint. The third hint I want to pass along is gate time. So let's press the gate button and then notice that the gate source is time. This is normal by default uh, but if you notice the gate time is currently set to 100 milliseconds. Well if you think about this we've got a signal that you know basically is one cycle per second so we want to set the gate time a little longer so we can do that by pressing the gate time soft key and then going ahead and increasing the number of seconds to maybe three finally the last hint and probably the most important one is to check the measurement timeout the, the, a new feature with these 53200 series counters is the ability to actually set the amount of time you would allot for a measurement to be made. Um, in the old count counters, uh, because you know counters are dealing with measurements in time, you know frequency and time, um, basically it could get hung if the signal wasn't there or if the counter was you know not configured correctly you know or the signal went away. So this this series of counter has that feature so what you do is you go into the utility menu and then under instrument setup soft key you'll notice that there's a timeout setting soft key and for right now the timeout is on and it's only set to one second you can just turn the timeout off or you can increase this measurement timeout let's just turn it off and toggle it now if we wait about three seconds we should make a measurement and those dashes will go away and we'll actually see the signal and there we go and we're seeing it out to 12 digits of resolution. I hope this video has been helpful. Thank you for watching it.